In the East Bay, a man shot multiple times by Antioch police officers earlier this month during a foot chase is disputing the police accounts that he pointed a gun at them. Quad Forest Supergall shows us the newly surfaced video that may strengthen his case. Civil rights attorney Melissa Nold says her 30-year-old client, Daniel Mackin, is considering a civil lawsuit in federal court against the Antioch Police Department and the four officers who shot him on October 1st. Cell phone video filmed by a bystander showing the shooting appears to counter police claims that Mackin turned around and pointed a gun at the officers during a foot chase. I don't see anything in the video that aligns with the reason why they're trying to justify the force. On the morning of the shooting, Police say an Antioch Community Service officer requested backup after spotting two cars parked on West 3rd Street, wanted in connection with a recent burglary in town. Police say Mackin was asleep in one of them, eventually determined to have been stolen. Officers Thomas Borg, Dustin Dibble, Sean Marcus, and Kyle Armstrong responded. Police say Officer Marcus looked into the vehicle and noticed a gun next to Mackin. Police say when Mackin woke up, he did not comply with commands and instead drove towards the officers. The cell phone video picks up the encounter with Mackin running away from the vehicle and then being chased by the officers and canines. Police say the officers opened fire, fearing for their lives because they allege he turned toward them and pointed the gun at them. But Melissa Nold says the video shows a different story. You can distinctly hear the, the shots ringing out while he's still within view. Now they do continue to shoot him after that. And we don't know what he did after that. But I know leading up to the shooting, I don't see anything that would lawfully allow them to shoot him in the back nine times. The Contra Costa County District Attorney's Office has charged Mackin with assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer, felon in possession of a firearm, receiving a stolen vehicle, and resisting arrest. He also had a warrant for his arrest for his alleged involvement in a homicide. Does your client say that he did at any point turn around and, and point the gun? No, he's denied such such allegations. The district attorney's office declined to comment on this case because it is ongoing, but a spokesperson acknowledges prosecutors have seen the cell phone video, though it is not clear if the DA's office was aware of the video before Mackin entered a not guilty plea at his arraignment last week. A police department spokesperson says the agency intends to release the body camera video within 45 days of the incident. Philippe Jagal, Cron 4 News.